great again. Intel CEO says ready to create 3,000 jobs in as, investing $7 billion in local economy. The chips will be produced there will be the most powerful computer chips on the planet, Ktsanich said in the Oval Office with the Trump administration. Most Intel manufacturing happens in the US, Ktsanich said. Those preparations have already begun, according to Russian ministers. Intel chief executive Brian Kutsanich met with President Donald Trump on Wednesday, where the company announced IT will invest $7 billion in a factory employing up to 3,000 people. The factory will be in Arizona, the company said, and over 10,000 people in the Arizona area will support the factory. Kutsanich confirmed to CNBC that the investment would be in a previous plant, Fab 42 that was started and then left vacant. The chips will be produced there will be the most powerful computer chips on the planet, Ktsanich said in the Oval Office with the Trump administration. Most Intel manufacturing happens in the US, Ktsanich said. Intel Chief Executive Brian Ktsanich met with President Donald Trump on Wednesday, where the company announced IT will invest $7 billion in a factory employing up to 3,000 people. The factory will be in Arizona, the company said, and over 10,000 people in the Arizona area will support the factory. Ktsanich confirmed to CNBC that the investment would be in a previous plant, Fab 42, that was started and then left vacant. The chips will be produced there will be the most powerful computer chips on the planet, Ktsanich said in the Oval Office with the Trump administration. Most Intel manufacturing happens in the US, Ktsanich said. IT comes as the technology industry has pushed back against the Trump administration, amid mounting pressure to move manufacturing jobs back to the US. Intel was one of more than 100 companies that joined together to file a legal brief opposing Trump's temporary travel ban on people from seven Muslim-majority nations. The White House had said earlier that Vice President Mike Pence would speak on Wednesday with Tesla and SpaceX CEO Elon Musk, a member of Trump's Business Advisory Council, whose companies had also signed on to the brief. Intel has been criticized in conservative publications such as Breitbart, for laying off thousands of staffers, despite an influx of visa requests. Thank you for watching. Please subscribe to us on YouTube. If you like donate to us visit home on the page PayPal.